Crazy Ronies. Kind of changing the name. I changed it once. Probably going to change it again. It just doesn't fit our lifestyle now, I guess. Um, everything's kind of changed a little bit. I'm just going to do a video on that. And I may include, include that in this. Um, I know it's a little early, but we're going to start putting up our Christmas. Um, the twins are five. They love Christmas, which all of my children do, but the twins and Grace, she's nine. It's just all year they talk about it and the different things. They love the snow, the different things and ask if we're going to get it. And we're in South Mississippi. Once in a while you might get it. I think there was one year when they were babies, we might have got it twice. We may have to take a trip and go somewhere with it snowing so we can let the babies have some fun. As I'm getting older, I'm realizing I need to slow down and stop and smell the roses. I know that sounds crazy. I've heard it my whole entire life, but as I get older, I'm starting to realize what that means and your children grow up fast, time flies by, you've got seasons that come and go, people come and go in your life, whether they pass away or they move away or something happens. So um, I just want to try to make a few more memories with the kids during these seasons, um, during this time of the year, where I think October 30th, 2024. And these are kind of home movies, I mean, I'd love to get monetized, it would help, but um, I love going back and be able to watch some and see how the children's grown and different things. Not that I like that they're growing up, but it's, it's good memories to go back on. It makes me smile. And I love my pictures, but um, I've got weird when I go back on the videos, I think I love them more. Just watching them, being able to hear them play and do things not just look at the pictures and try to remember because my memory is still terrible. Anyway, last year at the end of the year, um, I bought a new Christmas tree because the one we had had, whoo, <laughs> I don't even know how many years we had it. Um, someone that was in the military, their family had outgrown it, or well, they was downsizing, they had a big family and she gave it to me so the children would enjoy it. And they've enjoyed it probably 15 years. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, so I've been seeing these frosted trees. I think that it's called flocked. I've been seeing these flocked trees. And I wanted to try one. My only concern was the mess. Does it leave a lot or not? But it can't be no worse than a real tree. So I'm like, oh, well, let's try it. So I bought this one at the end of the year. We put it in the attic. And I was looking in the Hobby Lobby the other day and saw a tree I liked and I was about to buy it. And then I remembered, I think I bought one at the end of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up. Um, if I can, I may set up a video so when the twins and all of them get here, because it's so magical. And normally I don't dress like this, but I'm trying to get in the mood and enjoy family and plan and get ready for the gatherings and get togethers and fellowships and different things coming up. So, I got my little earrings and everything done. If I can, I'll set up a camera so y'all can see their reactions. But they're just at that age that their eyes just light up and they're just so in tune to everything and taking everything in still. You know, they, they're enjoying everything like they should, like we all should, but um, they're not in that category when they're getting older and they're into sports or this or that and uh, their friends and stuff like that. They're just taking in everything and enjoying it. So I want them to enjoy it a little bit longer than wait until the day after Thanksgiving. And I hope this one's pretty because like I said, I bought it at the end of last year and I don't want to have to try to take it back. Probably just give it away. Um, I'm gonna leave those in there. They actually have the light and stuff. I'm gonna leave them taped in there. That's a good idea to leave them taped there. B. So every one of them, I guess, is marked. There's A. Whew. 
It is kind of, so A, I would assume maybe that last. This is B. Well, this is B. Okay. I'm not sure where to put it. I'll just have to clean the couch later. They mark these. I guess I'm going to figure out how to mark them. I'll probably take some tape and do the bottom of these. And it's pretty heavy. And there's D in there. So before I get D out, let's go with this. <laughs> it looks like it's snowing. Oh, I can't wait to see their faces. coffee table into my room because the way the living room is we don't have a lot of extra room to put a tree so this is about the only place that we can put it so I moved everything and done some sweeping and all that kind of fun stuff I'm just going to screw it in a little because it has a hole here, so I'm assuming one of these have to go in, and then I've got to screw it in and tighten it up so it won't fall. I don't see any directions. There may have been some in there, but usually they tell you to go online nowadays. I'm going to try it myself. And I'm going to get them started there. That way that doesn't fall. I made one last year. Last year I made the kids stocking. Well, I made all of us family stockings. I've been wanting some nice ones and I went on Etsy. They were expensive. They were anywhere from $50 and up. And we're a big family. I did nine of them. So I just went over to my little sewing room and made my own. I made my own pattern and everything. I mean, it's not perfect, but it suits me and the family. I'll show them to you. I don't know if we'll make it to the stockings today. <laughs> but if we do, you'll get to see them. Let's see how we're supposed to put this together. It's supposed to be three lit. And that comes off. This is D. So they just have these little things on them. So, and I think I'm going to get me some tape and um, wrap it and with a Sharpie and write on them. So I can know from year to year. Whew, it's snowing again. I pushed that in a little too much, so I'm having to. Okay. <laughs> I kind of wish I'd wait and let the twins be here, but between them two and Grace, <laughs> I would never get the tree up. Never. So this is D. They're pretty lit, so everything probably has to come down at the same time. I've never had one do like this. <laughs> I may have to move that on down until I get the tree done and then start again. Oh my goodness, this is so messy. I think it's going to end up being messier than what I thought. <laughs> <sighs> this is going to be interesting. every one of these. This is one of my pet peeves. I'm not good at this and I want it to look nice but I didn't want to have to go get a real tree this year because it was they dry out so bad and they look so bad after by the time I leave them up this long. We're just going to see if this will be so pretty. And there is a plug-in outlet. That's where I need to know where that is. Let's that go. I'm gonna leave that down there. I wonder if it's, no. 
be nice if it twisted around. That way you can kind of sit in one spot. I don't know if this is a tree I'd want to use every year or not. What I could do with it this year, we may get rid of it. But in the stores and other people's homes, they look so pretty. I guess you got to take the bad with the good. Okay. Yeah, I need to, um, before I get heavier, I'm going to have to put something down on the floor because I don't want to scratch this wood floor. Um, it took me a lot of time and stuff. That's a story on its own about the wood floor. I guess it's going to be okay. I mean, we're just now getting started. I'm just not a decorator, though. By no means. And I know later, once I get it all together enough, I'll be moving these around. This is just to kind of give me a little bit so when I get the top when I'm not in there trying to reach in this. I hope there's enough lights on it. If not, I may be adding some more lights. I like a lot of lights. And I don't remember if they're clear, if we can change them, if they do patterns. I was hoping to find one that done music with the lights and that plays along with it, but I never did find one. Um, I've seen that there is lights that you can buy like that, but they're normally for outdoors, but I really wanted one for indoors. Like I say, my babies love Christmas and love music and lights, and I'd like to have some indoors. I'd like to decorate some outdoors this year. I didn't do anything but a wreath last year. I think that's all I've done outside. <laughs> I guess as time and about things along and stuff, I can do more. I can add to my collection. I just remember back when Bate was little. After doing Christmas a few years with her and Hope and then Chris Daniel, no, Christopher, I was like, oh, well, when Christopher gets old enough, we'll not do a tree, you know, it'll be okay. And then we had Samuel and then we done a tree and then we had Grace and I don't know. I just got so tired when I was dealing with everything that was going on plus the children. I just thought that, hey, I'm not going to do trees anymore after they get a little bit older. It'll be okay. But as I got older and I realized what it meant to them, it wasn't about me. The magic and, I mean, we're in a crazy world nowadays. You need a little bit of happiness and magic. And to me, it's Jesus is the reason for the season, but that's the magical time. I mean, miracles happen and different things. So to me, it's magical. So you add in a little bit of Christmas lights and different things and family time. Makes it enjoyable. Okay. I know you can't see this, but I'm covered in flop, whatever that is. Um. I'm probably going to do some of this in fast motion, and I may cut some out because you don't want to see me the whole time or hear me rambling on. And if you're wondering about the boot, wet tile floor and a refrigerator. And let's just say the refrigerator warm. My next 
problem is, <laughs> see, I did not connect the two wires with the lights, but I did with B and A. No, it was D and C. But A, B, C, I did hook up. And I was going to plug it up to try it, but I don't have a cord. So now I gotta go look for an extension cord. Oh, because this one's really short and there's no way it made it reach over there. And before I go everywhere. It's probably my hair and everywhere. I may have to change clothes before I go get them because they're going to wonder what I'm wearing Christmas. I'd look crazy if I had to stop somewhere. They would look at me like I'm nuts. Yeah, we'll change later. I couldn't find a cord, so I found some lights. I'm going to try them that way. Use this as my extension cord. <laughs> oh, I get back there too, that. Okay. Well, these lights work. Let's plug up the tree and see if I have it right. Huh! I got it! Woohoo! I'm just wondering. I'm going to stand back and look. I may still want a few more lights. It's hard with the stupid boot. It's pretty. I still got some arranging to do, especially when I get on that ladder and work my way up. To me, it doesn't have enough lights. They are pretty. They're kind of frosted. I don't know if you can tell. But I think I want to add a few more. I think it's gonna work out. I kind of have to. I'm not redoing this. We'll make it this Christmas and then go from there. My lights ended right there. I didn't finish about two feet down. Um, I wanted to plug them in and see how they look and see if I need to, I'm gonna to have to get one more strand, which is fine. I can finish it out and let them run. That can be my extension cord, I guess. But I wanna see how they are. So I'm going to go run, get me some more one more strand of lights real quick. I'm gonna plug them in first before I waste my time because if I don't like the way it looks, I'll take them back off and just leave it with the frosted ones that it has. And yes, I think they make some kind of fancy little things to keep my lights done, but I don't have any. Oh, let me see if I can plug this up. I only plug up the ones I just put on it. I do not have the others. So I've got to figure out where those can connect. Okay, there's both. So is that a problem? I have two different colors of lights. White lights and cream frosted lights. Let's see. I guess it'll look fine. Once I get everything on, I don't think anybody will ever know it. But shh, don't tell anybody. Let's run this extra strand around a few times. To give it a few more on the bottom here where I stopped.
because I'm about two feet, two and a half feet away from the thing. I can't test it right now. Let's get started decorating. perfect but I think I'm finished once I find some more ornaments I want to get um, and I may have some more in the attic a lot of these are keepsake ornaments um, this is when Faith was born this is our family um, name one and um, we didn't have Charity and Joy then but I was pregnant with them so in the big fat belly they had um, Roni twins written on there happy birthday Jesus this is Grace I think last year in her piano saddle done ring the bell, so the lady give her that. So everything on here, basketballs, there's a lot of memories. So each year we end up with different memories. Sometimes we end up with several, so we don't get just two or three. Um, but I try to keep it kind of traditional. I see a lot of trees online and they're gorgeous, but people go out and spend fortune and change them every year and stuff like that. But we have seven children, so that doesn't happen. I think for our sentimental ornaments and everything like that, I think it turned out pretty good. I don't have an extension cord yet. Um, I text Brian, he said we have plenty of them. So I guess so we could see it. Let me grab another set of Um, I we can see what it does. I've got a mess over here. It's going to take me all evening to clean. And he just texted me and asked me if I could um, come over there and see what I need to do about painting mobile home. So I've got to get back to work. I can't clean anymore. And I've got to change clothes because I'm going to look kind of ridiculous in October wearing Christmas clothes. Let's see if this one will plug up the tree. I guess I need to switch off the lights. I guess I could use them. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. That's killing me. <laughs> so much heavy stuff. I think that's gonna be pretty. I think we're gonna like it. I just can't wait to see the baby's reaction. Babies, I call them babies. They're still my babies. So I guess I'm going to go and um, check on that mobile home, see what I need to paint and figure up for all that so I can spend the next few days painting. I'll try to get a video of their reaction and they'll probably be 90 to nothing and so excited. But I'm probably one thing that they're gonna say is, where's the presents? I haven't started shopping. Well, I've been looking, but um, we really don't need anything. I'm trying to get stuff we need and can use. All the stuff that we get that just accumulates and the stuff everywhere, we don't need that. So we're trying to get stuff that, or things that we need so I can use. That way it'll be not making a mess in the house. Right, come on, let you go.